I paid thirty something thousand and then how to try it. And I put it to you now, shamefully, that my toning is still horrible. If I turn for you, you run away. Hello everybody, my name is Ayo and welcome to Ayo's Lifestyle. In today's video, I'll be giving you guys an update of how my 2022 has been so far. So far, so good. 2022 has been an incredible year. We started from January and today is 5th. We still have 25 days left in this year. So we still have a lot of time. 25 days is enough to go viral. 25 days is enough to make your billions, your millions. So don't feel somehow if you have things that you really want to happen in 2022 and it hasn't happened yet. Don't feel bad because you still have 25 days guys. So let's get straight into today's business. But before I start guys, hmm, I'm about to take you guys in a roller coaster. So I suggest you get your drinks and your fries and your juice down and be ready so we started january hmm, january and guys another thing my birthday my birthday is january 4th january 4th so i'm always feeling so much for my birthday because it's almost the same thing every year i don't receive gifts they don't give me money because they, they, they people people will be like oh we spent our money we spent our money on christmas and new year don't mind me if i'm looking at my phone because i can't have everything on my head my head is not that i'm sorry so i started 2022 january like every other person to god be the glory and we are still alive today and i'm so thankful to god and grateful but this year i made a lot of good and bad decisions like good and bad decisions that i made this year motivational speakers would be like it is not too late to be a millionaire or a billionaire or a thousand years, whichever one suits you so i did my birthday in january january 4th i didn't do a party i just did my photo shoot and entering this year my wedding was just a month old in case you guys don't know i am married I got married last year in November. Mm -hmm. So January, I did my one month wedding anniversary. I don't know who celebrates one month wedding anniversary. Me, I'm so vain. Don't mind me. I did my one month wedding anniversary, and I did my birthday January. My birthday is January fourth, guys. In case you want to send me gifts next year, I'm open to give money, cash, goods. I need a car. Yes, and I'll be turning 30 next year, January. So just have it in mind. Have me in mind. Put me in your prayers. I need a car. Then, February, nothing happened. I went to work. And I said, I was working in a bank. Nothing really happened in February. March, I went for parties. I went for my friends' hangouts. I went for my, I also went for my friend's wedding. Yes, yeah, so I attended a lot of weddings and parties this year. So March, nothing happened. Then April, everything started April. Like my 2022 started April. And April, I lost my girlfriend. I lost Muiwa. Muiwa was a friend, was a colleague. When I started working in the bank 2018, it was Muiwa that really taught me like everything. I worked as a transaction officer in the bank. So it was Muiwa that taught me everything. It was one that put me through everything. And it was so helpful. It was like a brother to me. It was like a brother, a friend. I mean, we shared a lot of memories together before I got married. He was always advising me on what to do, you know, you know, that kind of thing now. So it's so unfortunate. Like, his name is Muni Wawi Molevi Bakatunde. I'm using this medium once again to pray for the family because he has two children and he left the wife and the mom. The mom is still alive. So I'm using this medium to pray for the family. I pray the God Almighty will keep upholding them and seeing them through financially, through spiritually, physically, and otherwise. I pray God will just help them to bear the load because it was such a great load. The load of Polaris Bank shaked because of Muiwa. It was, it was such a gentle person, like so loving. So Muiwa is like a light. Anywhere it goes to, it brightens up the place. Like he's such a loving person. I mean, I can't, I can't keep going on and on because I don't want to get emotional. And also, every I pierced my nose, guys. I don't know if that is an achievement, but I've been wanting to pierce 
or do a tattoo. I wanted to write my mom's name. My mom is late, guys. I wanted to tattoo my mom's name, but I just feel like let me not tattoo now. Let me not tattoo yet. Check it yet. Because I haven't given birth yet. So I want to give them both tattoo my mom's name. Once I have my kids, once I have my twins, I'll write my mom's name. I want to write a tattoo of my mom. So April appears my nose and okay, the same April I consult with my friend. We had a week last year, last year we announced my wedding. And then that can be avoided. But thankfully, we shall made up. We made up this April, and everybody is fine for the school. Yeah. So June, April left June. I was feeling miserable June because. A lot of things because I was tired of my job, I was tired of working in my bank and I also lost me while like I said. A lot of things really happened, a lot of things prompted me that April. That April. So I think I carried all this sadness to June. And comes June, I was feeling miserable, I was not happy, I was sad. I was just so cranky all the time and I wanted to resign. That is the other thing. Then I'll just stop working in the bank because they are not paying me well, guys. They are not paying me well, and I also got promoted in June. But with the promotion, I still want to resign. Two things I like to do. I don't know if I should call them fashion. I like to do makeup. Growing up, I like doing my makeup. Makeup is like the only thing that I don't get tired of doing. I can sit and paint my face for three days. Even if it's dragons, then I'll start keep painting. I really like it. And I like to talk. I like to talk. I call myself chat and box. I talk a lot. But the problem is, I don't know what to say. I don't have a platform. I don't have an avenue. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get a job where they pay me while I talk. I don't know if I'll get a job where they'll just be paying me, giving me money, and I'll be talking. And I know Sabi Pigeon, they say Sabi Pigeon now, Sabi, I will say, okay, we'll make a go to this video station, go find job, maybe they will give me. I don't, my pigeon is not horrible. I be how I do, I talk away, but my pigeon is just there. So I now thought about it because as a 2020, after the lockdown, I started learning makeup, I started learning makeup then and finished learning makeup 2021. That was before my wedding. I've already completed my class before my wedding. Then June, I was not feeling that way. I don't know what to do. I don't know. I just had to call a few of my friends that know that oh, they can advise me, talk to them, and nobody, all of them was like, yeah, don't resign, you know this kind of, you know now Nigeria, like if you resign, you don't have anything you are doing. On go go kiss, apart go finish, and there's inflation in the country. But after that June, July, I was still being skeptical about it. But I then me, I have coconut head. I'd already drafted my resignation letter in my email. I'd already drafted it. I'm like, come rain, come shine. I'm going to leave this job before December. So what did I do? July. Okay, July. I started an upgrade class because I noticed that my makeup wasn't that good and I'm not getting jobs. Like I've not been getting jobs since the beginning of the year because I've not been posting. I have to do my upgrade with Rutiana. Shout out to Rutiana. After the upgrade, no, I'd already started the upgrade and I was lacking, I was still lacking behind. So I'm like, you can't have two masters or two captains in a ship or whatever they say. So I just gave it a second thought. I'm like, I think this is a sign for me to visit. I was doing my upgrade and I was lacking behind because I go just Saturday and Sunday. I know as a makeup artist now, she have her own client Saturday and Sunday. So I missed a lot of class, a lot of class. There was a lot of back and forth. And I just told myself that okay, let me just leave. Let me leave. But something happened before I left. By that July, I was still thinking because I needed money. Although I have a little savings, I have a little money that I get somewhere. So I had to calculate my salary. I divided my salary by 22 days I work. And I just saw it and it just prompted me to like, I beg, drop letter, like, what is this? Is this what I'm earning in a day? My salary divided by 22. 
minus transportation, minus transportation, minus feeding, minus miscellaneous. I swear to God Almighty. The service is nothing to write home about. But guys, I'm giving you a free advice today. Don't resign if you don't have anything you do. Like, don't resign if you don't have your plan B figured out yet. Okay. So by August, guys, August came. Okay, July came. I'd already gone for like four days leave out of my 15 days leave. I'm like, ah, I've spent more than six months here now. We are in July. Why can't I just go for my leave? So I took all my leave, guys. That's a smart move. I'm teaching you the scope now. <laughs> Before you resign, use all your leave. Use all your leave. Like, use all the fucking leave, guys. So I went for leave by July. And I'm to resume August. Was it first or second? I don't know, but it was August. And I went to work. To drop my resignation letter. I was literally wearing one gown like that. I wore, I wore a dress and to see past my own back. And I made a video. I attached the video. Guys, last day at work. Last day at work. No more 9 to 5. From today. I made a video, guys. This is my last day. Yeah. And, guys, after dropping the letter and I got home, all my body was screaming, Freedom! All my body was screaming freedom. All my body was just screaming freedom. Guys, I was so happy. I now figured out that it's not even, it's not the job, it's the environment and the people. And that August, I started facing my makeup business. I started doing shoots of models once in a week. And mind you guys, I pay model for shoots. The cheapest is 2,000 Naira. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000 every week, guys. And trust me, consistency pays. It really pays because as of now, I'm seeing improvements, huge improvements. I won't lie to you guys. And the same August, guys, I went to learn how to drive. I paid 30, 70,000 to learn how to drive. And I put it to you now, shamefully, that. My turning is still horrible. If I turn for you, you will run away. I learned how to drive all girls. I spent almost three weeks in driving school. But I guess it's because I don't have a car. And my partner that has a car is always busy. So there is no available car for me. So that's why I said you should put me in your prayers. I need a car. Come next year. I'll be 30 next year. How can I be 30 and I don't have a car to myself? Please pray for me. Remember me in your prayers. September, I travel to Kogi. <laughs> My traveling experience was so was so sweet indeed. Let me not say horrible. It was so sweet. From Lagos to Kogi, I was in the boat for money to unite. I've never done that before in my life. The highest I can go is six hours, five hours. I was also cranky all through the journey. And to top it off, the bus was so... The Siena, the Siena car was so tight. We were supposed to sit in threes, driver to four. It took two in the front. That journey was nothing to write to me about. Then in September, I lost a friend. I lost honor in September. If you guys have been following my video, the second blog I posted on this channel, the title is Anger with My Friends. Honor was dead. We lost her to kidney failure. And the painful part was that, let's say she died like last month, we get to know this month through Facebook, and we were on the same WhatsApp group as at then. So, guys, if you're watching this video, please. Check up on your friends. That friend that doesn't post much, or that friend that just posts his or her business online on social media, please check up on them, chat to them. If they don't reply once, they don't reply twice, please call them. It won't take you, it won't cost you anything. It won't cost more than 20 naira to call them or 30 naira, 50 naira. Even if it's 200 naira, 200 naira is too small compared to your friend's well being. So that is it for September. Yes, and September I started going to the gym, guys. <clears throat> it was such a sweet experience. 
I met a lot of cool people like I don't know I can I don't know I can do well in the gym but I did I'll attach the video to for you guys to stay I'm not losing weight I'm not going to the gym to lose weight I'm going there to have fun and to exercise my muscles Wow, a lot of things happened in September guys a lot of things happened in September thank god I wrote this thing down so when I, I told you guys I left for makeup right? I left my work for makeup blah 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 you guys already know the story and you guys will be wondering uh, how will I be getting my customers so I thought to myself how will I be getting customers after resigning how will I be getting my customers how will I be making money with the makeup if people don't see me how will they call me they don't see what I do how will they call me so after doing shoot I had to do banners, so I did two banners, one at my estate gate and one at my gate. So I have two banners, and to the glory of the Lord, a lot of people have been calling me. Hi, are you doing makeup parties? Blah blah. Want to do makeup? Want to tie the leg? Want to do this? Want to do that? Funny enough, someone even called me. She said she wants to learn how to. I get, I'm like me. <laughs> I don't want students now. Let me make money first and master my heart first before getting students. I don't want students now, please. In October, something terrible happened in October. I had this boy on my knee. At first, it wasn't a boy. It was just like a scratch. Like the, my knee was just scratching me. Obviously, I scratched it. Then the next day, it started swelling, it started swelling until it turned to a huge boy, guys. I'm going to put the video there for you guys to see. It turned to a huge boy, guys. For the whole of October, I think I walked for just like five days. I couldn't walk. I was limping on through. There was even a day in October that I had these shoes, guys. I limped to the studio. I was drawing brows like this. I was doing makeup blood was coming out of my knee water was coming out of my knee and every other thing was coming out of my knee it was so painful it was so it was so painful i don't wish my enemy to have boy on my knee or maybe i wish my enemy boy on their knees so. it was so terrible guys i wish you guys i'll just put the video there for you guys to see so that was october and in november guys I did this place last month was fintech week right so i went for fintech week and there is this guy there's this presenter that started talking and he was like if you're starting a business and your capital is not stable and you need a place you need a place you need a building to use would you rather convert your garage or you rent a huge building where you don't even know how your business is going to be in the next three, four, five years. Now, which one are you going to do? And we all answer that oh, convert to your garage. So when I go home and I enter this room, and I'm like, ah, this room is just there. There is nobody using this room. This room has been empty, has been empty for God knows how long. We are not doing anything with this room, just visitors, and we don't even want visitors as a day. So guys. I converted this room to my studio and that's like a good decision guys that's like a good decision for me it, it's a short-term studio obviously i'm still going to get my beer please but at least dream big start small they say same november i did my wedding anniversary my wedding anniversary was november 20th i did my wedding anniversary it was fun i forgot to mention that i started vlogging august but as of today now, I'm telling you guys that I'll be dropping my video once every Wednesday and I'll be and I'll be taking this vlogging serious because I've not been taking it serious. I mean it doesn't cost me much. Do you get aside my data and composing myself like this? It doesn't cost me much. And so far, I thank God. I do want to say more than that. <laughs> because it's you guys are still going to help me support, subscribe. So it's all good and funny enough how we start our January without knowing what is going to happen the next minute. You won't even know that the changes are happening until you pay attention. You just need to like pay attention to yourself and 
be grateful, irrespective of anything. There are a lot of people that I know that will write things that, oh, this is what I want to happen in 2022. Man purposes, God disposes, or whatever they say. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I know you guys already understand what I'm trying to say. So, guys, that'll take us to the end of today's video. And, guys, if you are still here, kindly like, subscribe, and give this video a thumbs up. Like I said, I don't want to see thumbs down. And keep the comment section busy. Tell me what you are thankful for in 2022. Just tell me. And tell me the little achievement you achieved in 2022. See you in my next video guys.